What's up guys, this is Alex from Xtrades. Today I'm going to be going over a Camarilla Pivot day trading strategy, which I've found pretty good success in. Um, I've made a PDF file actually of backtest results. Um, ended up with a 70% win rate on ticker symbol QQQ, which is a ETF for tech. And I also did a backtest on IWM, which is covering the medium to small caps. But um, this video, I just kind of want to go into detail more, show a live example um, for each setup, um, make it more visual based for people you know who would rather watch a video. So first, let's go ahead and get into what are Camarilla pivots. So Camarilla pivots are an automatic support and resistance indicator created by Nick Scott. Um, he was also a bond trader in the 80s, uh, had his own firm, came up with this equation, and um, some people even speculate online that, that um, this indicator was actually reverse engineered because um, he never even released the formula or the math equation to um, release this indicator in the first place. Um, it's kind of pr proprietary software, um, traded in his own firm, and you know, if you have something successful like that, most people are trying to keep it on the down low. So they're created from the close, the high, and the low of the previous day's range. And after those are established, the Camarilla math equation is then added to your pivots for the next day. So your pivots are always created from your previous day range. There's a total of 10 created, but um, we're only focusing on six. So we're focusing on R5, R4, R3, S3, S4, S5, and you can imagine already the S stands for support, the R stands for resistance. But um, there's actually two, or I'm sorry, four more. So there's a S1, S2, R1, R2, and they're added around here, but um, we're only focusing on these six, because these are our focus pivots. These will provide our entry, our exit, and our stop loss. So this strategy actually provides too long, too short. Um, each giving an entry, a target, and a stop loss. And we're going to go ahead and get into some live examples. We're going to do a playback on TradingView and go ahead and show you how it would look um, sort of in real time as price is moving. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into example number one. So today we're going to be doing an S3 to R3 long. Um, this S3 to R3 range is actually tradable in both directions, but uh, we're going to be going over the first one. So we're going to go over two longs and then two shorts. So we're going to let QQQ playback do its thing here. Alright, and initially it pulls up into R3. You can see it gives a really good short. Um, could have entered after this confirmed candle or if you're smart enough you could top tick it enter up here. Um, if you're not a person who waits for confirmation of course. But um, it's all about knowing market sentiment. But let's go ahead and let this dip into S3. All right, and you can use 15 minute candles um, as well. I, I personally use both, so I'll, I'll go down to the five minute just to see on a smaller time frame if this is holding up. And sometimes I'll use the 15 minute just to give me an overall feel for, you know, for a quarter hour. So we can see right here, we are holding up the S3 perfectly. I'll go ahead and give you a risk profile here. We have an entry at S3, we have a stop loss down here at S4, it's always going to be your stop loss, S4 for an S3 long, target's always going to be R3. So, R, or I'm sorry, S3 entry, S4 stop loss, R3 target. Go ahead and let this play out. And over time, you just see how perfect this works. All right, so we got our target hit right there. It's perfect. Didn't even flinch to go down to the stop loss. And you can see that um, the reward is actually wider than the stop loss. So your risk to reward on this specifically, if you entered on this candle, it's 1.0. So it's giving you about one to one. Um, and you know, that's, that's pretty much ideal, but in this S3 to R3 range, it's usually always going to be wider than your stop loss, or than your entry to stop loss. It really depends where you enter, but um, you can see that we just entered on the first five minute candle, 
and just rips to the upside. Coming down to your technicals, um, you could even argue that the downtrend line was broken right here. So that's another reason to get in. In our next example, we're going to go into our second long, which is our next tradable range is the R4 to R5. That's actually a breakout trade to the upside. So you're trading between these. And we'll go ahead and get into that now. All right, let's go ahead and get into example number two. This is um, QQQ, same ticker, works really well. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into the R4 to R5 long. We'll let this play out a little bit. So you can see initially um, it, it gapped up super heavy. A lot of people are probably thinking short right away, you know, get that gap fill trade. Um, if you're using the camera to pivot strategy, you know not to go short until it's completely broken under R3. You need a confirmed candle under, so this would actually save you um, from getting trapped. So we're going to go ahead and let it play out. And we're waiting for our first candle over R4 to give us our entry. All right, we got our first one right there. Let's go ahead and set a risk profile on the first one. Set a risk profile R4. Stop loss is always going to be R3. So R4 long, always going to have a R3 stop loss. Always going to have a R5 target. So we got our target all the way up here. This is giving you about a 1.32 risk to reward ratio, which is really good. Um, you usually want it to be higher than your loss, of course. So let's go ahead and let this play out. And you can see once we just got that confirmation candle, it just totally rips to the upside. So I just need to give it some room. All right, keep giving it room. Go ahead and widen it. All right, our target was hit right there. So you see the point. Um, target was hit right there. Go ahead and zoom out a little bit. This is your whole, whole trade right here. So we entered on the first candle over R4 and let it rip to the upside. Um, you could do the same thing. You, you know, I was telling you about the, the last setup. You could sell halfway if you want. Um, you don't have to hold out for the full target. But, um, you know, if you're going to do that, make sure you adjust your stop loss. If you plan on selling a little bit early, make your stop a little tighter. That gives you better risk to reward, so you, you know, so you don't get screwed. Um, just in case your plan doesn't go, you know, as planned. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get into two shorts next. Um, Let's see. Let's see what our first one's gonna be. We're gonna go over S4 to S5 short. Um, and all of these trades are actually, you know, really close within each other. So these are, you know, these are valid in current markets, which are very volatile. Uh, we're still in a bear market, but I wanted to make sure that we're getting live examples of, you know, recent trades. You know, stuff that's gonna work right here, right now, um, with recent ranges. So let's go ahead and get into our next one. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get into our S4 to S5 short. So this is our tradable range right here, and you're gonna have an S3 stop loss with that. And you can see initially QQQ pulls into S3 here, um, actually bounces off. It gave a good S3 to R3 long opportunity. Um, you could have sold around here. I know I would have. Uh, actually, I'm pretty sure this is on a Friday and we did trade this S3 to R3 long and just uh, sold on the breakout. But anyways, let's go ahead and get into the S4 to S5 short. All right, and here we go. Now you can see the selling pickup, volume picks up. Uh, let's go ahead and set a risk profile. This is going to be short, so let's switch it. Short position. This is our five-minute candle under. And your stop loss is always S3. So for the S4 to S5 short, your stop loss is always S3. Go ahead and widen it now just in case. And now we'll let it play. And you can just see, man, it's just, it's ridiculous. Once it gets down to the zone, it's just perfect. All right, 
makes a little bear flag right there. Tries to make a bottom but fails. Target should hit relatively soon. I don't remember this um, staying down here for, I'm sorry, I don't remember this holding up for too long. I'm pretty sure the S5 hit pretty quick, so. All right, and target hit, perfect. So you can see, it's another complete trade. S4 breakdown, we enter on the first candle, stop loss is gonna be S3, target's always gonna be S5. I like to do the same thing as before, sell halfway. Um, just make sure you tighten your stop halfway to them. So, that's our first short. We're gonna go ahead and get into our next one. It's gonna be a R3 to S3 long. You already, or, I'm sorry, a R3 to S3 short. You already saw a preview of that um, on our first example, pulled up an R3, rejected hard off it. Um, so we're gonna pull up another example of that, and you'll see how that is also a successful strategy. So let's go ahead and get into that. All right, let's go ahead and get into our last one. So this is gonna be a R3 to S3 short. Um, this actually, it looks like it gives a S3 to R3 long as well. So we'll, we'll just let it play out just so you can see how well it works for both. So you get the S3 long here. Runs up perfectly up to R3 eventually here. And once it gets up to R3, we'll put our risk profile. All right, we hit R3, so that's perfect. Um, I'll even do the risk profile again for the long. So you got long position. Remember, we got an S3 entry, S4 stop loss, R3. R3 target. So that would be a long setup. Hit successfully. But now we're covering the short. So let's go ahead and get into a short risk profile. We got a short position. I'm going to wait for that rejecting candle. All right, we got a rejecting candle here off R3. So our stop for these are always going to be R4. So similar to how you saw the S4 short, the stop loss was S3. This is going to be R4 um, on an R3 entry. Target's going to be S3. So it's literally just the opposite of the S3 long. Um, it's just the R3 short. So just switching it up, going opposite. You could buy puts on this. You could go short stock. Whatever works for you. Go ahead and let this play out. Pretty sure this hits pretty quick. It's definitely had to have been a fun range to trade this day. And you can see it hits super quick. Um, I mean, it's maybe like within an hour or so. So our target hit. Another successful trade. So you could have gone long here, hit target, no stop loss hit, and you could have gone short here. Um, no stop loss yet. So two successful trades, one day. Um, you can just see how well the strategy works. And actually, there's two more um, that I haven't back tested, by the way. I haven't back tested this strategy, but there's two other trades. Um, they're counter trend reversal trades, and you're actually using the R5 and S5 for an entry. But um, I might have to make a video on that when I have more data. Um, Whenever I have more data, I might be able to show that it works successfully. Um, but me and you know some other people do take those counter trend, you know, R5 and S5 trades. The only thing is, is that there's no stop loss. Um, there's no stop loss pivot. You'd have to make your own, and then um, you're just countering. So if you went short at the R5 counter, you'd be exiting at the R4 um, for a target. And same if you went long at an S5 counter, you'd be exiting at an S4. So, but like I said, you don't have a stop loss because um, it only goes up to S5 and then only goes up to R5. So, and those are your entries. So, impossible to have an automatic stop loss. You'd have to make your own. But um, I really hope you guys found some use in this. I am going to go ahead and upload the PDF file of the back test results. Um, it has all four setups in there. So if you need to go back and review it, um, it's obviously not going to be the same examples. It's just going to be different dates. Because um, I did make it a couple months ago. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to go ahead and log out here. Um, if you guys need anything, just let me know. Uh, message me on Discord at Alexander underscore 96. Thank you.